Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here, back again with another from the Fixing It Forward series and our 1998 Town & Country. One of the main issues that this van has is the transmission is not operating properly. To be specific, it doesn't have reverse. So I'm going to go through the process of diagnosing whether or not this is an electrical issue that we can repair or whether it's a mechanical issue inside the transmission that's going to require replacement of the transmission. Step one, I want to check the fluid level and condition, but in order to do that, I have to heat the engine up. So I'm going to bring this up to operating temperature and then check the transmission fluid. I'm also going to make sure it's on the ground so it's level when I check to make sure I get an accurate reading. What I'm going to do while this is warming up is run it through the gears check reverse and see how it operates. And I can do this here on the lift with the wheels off the ground. Now, if you're at home, you can lift this up, support it on jack, jack stands and do a similar thing. But if you do that, you're not gonna be level like I am here. So if you, if you do that, perhaps lift the back end up also to try to get it as level as possible or take it out for a test drive or an attempted test drive, depending on how it works. Automatic transmissions, can be a little tricky sometimes, but the first thing to do is just verify the complaint. So let's run it through the gears, check to see if it has reverse and see where we're at. Let's drive forward gears. Okay, we've got at least first, the ABS might start to kick in with it being off the ground like this. Actually, that's traction control, I think. I just turned the traction control off Yet it still seems to be engaging. The really odd thing is, the speedometer's not moving, and usually when I do this, the speedometer will move. Well, anyway, it's heated up. I'm gonna put it on the ground and just check the fluid level. We, we obviously know that we don't have reverse, and that's pretty important. So, let's check the fluid level and see where we're at. The engine needs to be running, and it needs to be on a level surface. That's not looking too good. Let's try again. Nothing. It's not even registering on the stick. An automatic transmission without the proper fluid level is an inoperative automatic transmission. It needs that hydraulic fluid to work. Let's just try an experiment. Let's put some uh, fluid in it, see if it works again. I don't believe this takes any kind of special fluid. I'm just going to use regular ATF. And whenever you're adding fluid in a situation where you don't see anything on the stick, do it a half a quart at a time. Then you got to let it settle. Because what happens is the oil is going to get all up inside the dipstick, so it's difficult to get an accurate reading after you first dump it in. Uh, we're starting to register. Well, just like I said, it's getting all over the stick. It's really tough to get a good reading with it all over the stick like that. See, I'm going to have to let it settle. Let's try running it through the gears while we're waiting for this to settle in. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. It'd be really great if we didn't have to put a transmission in this. Let's get that fluid level to the proper level and then see what we got. If we have reverse, I'm gonna take it out for a test drive and run it through the gears and see how it does. How awesome would I be if I fixed this transmission with a quart of transmission fluid? <laughs> okay. Now if this does work and this is the issue, what I'll do is I will look for leaks because that transmission fluid went somewhere. So we're going to look around, see if we can find in the, the cause of the low transmission fluid. Uh, once we've done that and repaired it, probably what I'll do is do a transmission fluid filter change just so that I'm sure that you know any clutch material or anything like that that may have been created as a result of this not working like it should or this low transmission fluid just to give it the best advantages I can so that the transmission doesn't fail down the road.
They're not quite there yet. I bet, I bet it's going to take at least another half a quart. Yeah, looking at it, I'm saying it's right down there at the bottom of the stick. Right. Let me get my finger out. What I'm seeing is the level is right about there. I'm saying another half a quart should bring us up into this hashed out area, which is where we want to be. So I'm going to finish off that quart and take it for a drive. I'm not going to bother checking the level until I get back from the test drive, because that will allow whatever's in this dipstick tube. Oh, cooling fans work. That's a good sign. They're both working, so that's good. Let's go for a ride. All right, now when this thing came in, there was no reverse. So if I put it in reverse and I back up, we fixed it. Oh wait. I'm gonna check that fluid level one more time. It may be too late, but if this transmission is bad, it's bad because the transmission fluid leaked out. That should be enough for it to work. I'll put a little bit more in because it should be up in this area right now. It's still like another half a quart low. I don't know how much that's gonna affect it, but I don't have a whole lot of hope at this point. We'll go forward, no backwards. Sigh, I believe this is gonna need a transmission based on what I've seen. I mean, I, I honestly don't, don't need to look any further. I mean, with fluid that's that low in an automatic transmission, an automatic transmission without automatic transmission fluid is like an engine without oil. It's not long for this world. The parts burn up, the clutches don't work, and away you go. I'll post the link in the description to uh, my dissection of an automatic transmission so you have a better idea of what I'm talking about when I say clutches and that type of thing. Uh, but based on what I'm seeing here, unfortunately, I think we've got to put a transmission in this van. Well, during our period of running the vehicle on the lift and uh, filling it up with fluid, there appears to be this puddle of transmission fluid here on the floor. And when I look up underneath the vehicle, what I ended up finding was that there was a lot of uh, residue on the lower radiator hose, but also above it on the transmission cooler lines. And I believe that to be the source of the leak that caused the transmission fluid to get low. Transmission fluid got low. After that, well, the transmission wasn't long for this world. I'm gonna condemn this transmission here. Based on all the evidence that I'm seeing, this transmission ran low on fluid, it doesn't have reverse. I'm gonna say that this is an internal mechanical issue with this transmission, and I'm just gonna call it here. Now, if it were a different scenario and I didn't find that low fluid necessarily, uh, what I would do next is plug into the diagnostic connector and check to see if there were any transmission codes. Because it could still be an electrical problem at that point. Many modern automatic transmissions are shifted electronically, so if there's an electrical malfunction, things like no reverse could happen. So therefore, you could start by checking with a scan tool to see if there's any codes for any one of those solenoids that might be causing the issue that we're having. Like I said, I'm not gonna bother in this case. I have every indication that this is a mechanical failure inside the transmission and that's gonna be that. Now here's the tricky part. Getting one of these transmissions, well, the cost of the transmission will probably exceed the value of this vehicle. However, I wanna do what I can for Barbara to get this thing back on the road for her. So we'll see if somebody can step up to the plate and possibly uh, hook us up with a transmission to use in this vehicle. Time will tell, but until we get to that point, I know for sure that we're gonna need a transmission for this and pretty much we'll just sort of leave it at that and uh, address the other issues after we address the biggest one, which is this transmission. But 
As far as diagnosis, like I said, uh, check the fluid level and condition, make sure it's warm, make sure it's on a level surface. When you do check the fluid, uh, some vehicles like Hondas require that the vehicle be off when you check the transmission fluid. So be sure you follow whatever the manufacturer's are, instructions are, not only for checking the fluid level, but for the type of fluid that goes in it. Some of them, including uh, some Hondas and Chryslers, some vehicles require special transmission fluids. So just make sure you put in the right stuff because if you don't, you could cause issues. Outside of that, I think we're done here. Uh, I think I'm gonna wrap this one up. If you have automotive questions that were not addressed in this video, I'm gonna ask that you head over to ericthecarguide.com. If you wish to connect with me socially, I can be found on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, and now Instagram. And I close each of my videos with be safe, have fun, stay dirty, and fix it forward.